up, guys? Apple Fanatic here. Um, for you that, uh, for you guys that aren't aware, 10.1 was released today for iTunes, and I just downloaded it and plugged in both of my jailbroken iDevices, my iPod Touch 3G and my iPod Touch 2G, and they both work. They both sync. They both do everything, and I I restored it just to make sure everything was able to restore. Everything works on my Mac. Um, I also did it on my Windows computer. Everything was good. So this isn't running the beta like it was earlier. Just to show you guys. Ah, oops. About iTunes 10. As you can see, it is running the official release of 10.1. So if you guys who have jailbroken and unlocked are nervous about syncing with iTunes, um, I I assume the unlock will be safe also. Um, don't quote me on that. So um, I don't have an iPhone to test it on, but um, I would bet a reasonable amount of money that you would be fine to do. So go ahead and download 10.1. I'll do a quick run through of what I think has been added. Um, I honestly can't really tell you guys what's been added too much because I can't really tell. Um, it doesn't look like because I've been running on the beta version, so I don't really remember what was from the previous version because I've had this for almost a month and a half. Um, but I'm obviously it has ping, so people that don't have the haven't been haven't been running on the beta iTunes um, 10.1 beta one and 10.1 beta two, you will notice ping has been added. Ping is in social networking, um, and I one thing I have noticed from the last beta is I'm pretty sure this ping was not there before. I could be wrong, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that it hasn't been there. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that nothing has really been changed from 10.1 beta 2. But if you are gonna, if you have noticed other things, comment below, and I will get back to you and say, oh yeah, you're right. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be safe to upgrade 10.1 if you're on iPod Touch 2G, 3G, 4. I assume you're safe for all of them. So. Go ahead and download 10.1 if you haven't already, and install it and enjoy. As for 10.4.2 uh, for the iDevices, it has been delayed a couple weeks. Not a couple weeks. What is the date today? The 12th. It has been delayed till next week. It was supposed to be released, or it was speculate, speculated that it was going to be released today. It will be released next week sometime. Maybe the 17th, so in like five or six days, it might, might be related, released. Uh, there was a bug found in the iPad's wireless, where it wasn't connecting to wireless when it was on internet, which could be a huge problem for people that don't have 3G iPads. So pretty much they weren't able to connect, and that it was found in a Goldmaster, which is not a beta. It's a like, it is a beta to, in the sense but it's not. It's pretty much what's going to be released to the public. There's not going to be many changes. It's basically released to developers just so they can test it out, make sure everything works, and you might, uh, just fix any last minute last minute bugs they find. And those bugs will then be fixed in the final release. But it's not really a beta because they're not adding any new features. Um, I don't think they added new features anyways. But yeah, so. 10.1 was released today for iTunes, and 10.4.2 uh, official version was supposed to be released today with along with iTunes 10.1, but it's been held off till next week because of wireless issues. Um, so, yeah, go download, or go not download, go uh, check this out. Um, nothing's really that exciting, and tell me what you think in the description of 10.1. So... Peace, guys. Um, I will talk when I will um come back. Um, my next video will probably be on ten point the four point two release because I'm gonna tr stop making jailbreaking videos as much as possible because I don't want to get my account suspended or my videos um deleted from YouTube because of jailbreaking material. They will be. I'll make jailbreaking videos once I find another website to upload them to. Um, the vlog I write for, I see if maybe he'll let me upload a couple. But for now, I'm not uploading any jailbreaking videos or as minimum as possible because I don't want to get my account suspended. So or deleted, which would be even worse. So for Apple Fanatic, this is me saying peace.